I'm Sensei Alex Kakuya, North American Correspondent for Buddhist Door Global. Thanks for joining me for this episode of The Ordinary Buddhist. The title of today's talk is Wearing the Armor of Buddha. Before we get into that, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post talks in the future. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that'd be great too. The days are changing here on the homestead as we move from summer to fall. It gets colder outside, the days get shorter, the nights get longer, and we have to change our behavior as a result. I learned this firsthand the other day when I went outside in my customary jeans and a t-shirt to do morning chores and realized it was a little colder than I thought it was. I thought I could tough it out long enough to get the animals fed and watered and check on some other things, but it quickly became apparent that I needed to change clothes. So I came back inside, I put on a heavy coat, my boots, some long johns, and the second time I went out, I was actually quite comfortable. The weather hadn't changed, but my behavior had. I was dressed appropriately for the season. And as a result, I was able to do all the caring, compassionate things that I'm supposed to do as a homesteader. Feeding and watering the animals, making repairs around the property, etc. But that was only possible because, again, I had changed my behavior and I was wearing the correct attire. Now this is true of homesteading, but it's also true of Buddhist practice. When we go into the world, the weather is not always what we would like. Sometimes it's cold and downright uninviting. We have to dress appropriately for those times, those situations, or we will suffer as a result. More than that, we will not be able to help end the suffering of others. In this case, the spiritual clothing or the spiritual armor of Buddha can be very, very helpful. When we meditate, when we chant, when we study sutras prior to going into what may be a difficult situation, we are purifying and preparing our body, speech, and mind for the inclement weather of life. When we remember to do this, when we remember to wear the right spiritual clothing, the armor of Buddha as found in Buddhist doctrine, the weather, no matter what it is, can't affect us, and we're able to go about our work without problems. Amitabha.